very last but not least, we have our skeleton, as you can see behind me. It has a lot of pieces, so it will take you some cutting time. But the good thing is, it's not difficult cutting. So it, you've got in the bag this, and I believe it's 15 um, paper plates. Hopefully, I, I always try to give you at least one or two extra, just in case we make any kind of mistake. So, um, I'm only going to put part of it together so you guys can see how it works. So I started with the head and the best way, any part, cut out the pieces from the, the template, the paper. And actually I did it on this kind of paper because it's just so much easier to work with. So anytime you see this little ribbon part of it, don't cut that. If you look closely on my head, just cut round because the paper plates have that ribbon in there. So it just naturally is there. We don't have to cut it, which is wonderful. So I didn't trace um, any of the bigger pieces. I'll show you which pieces I did trace them. So I just lined it up here and I cut around like this. And it's not a perfect fit because I didn't cut exactly on the line as I cut it out of the the on the piece of paper that I printed out for you guys so so boom and then you can see this to do again next year <laughs> we're doing everything on the back side because that's where the ribbon is so this looks a little funky right here so we're just gonna kind of round it up remember it is our skull it's supposed to be a skeleton so skeletons are are round so and you can flatten it out a little bit if you want um, they gave us a super cute face to follow to copy and that's exactly what I'm gonna do is just do that so it was just two big eyes rounded in the middle little nose smiley he's a happy skeleton which I prefer happy over scary myself right here and even in the template they tell us where to put the die you will need your hole punch there and so you're just going to put it about here right in the middle and then just put that aside and I just I just cut everything first and then put it together but you could go ahead and do one piece at a time if you want um, I did want to show you how to cut these long bones because if you look at the paper plate that's way too long it doesn't fit at all so I folded it in half and I folded the paper plate in half and that was just easier way to do it especially for these because you need two four six you need eight you need two for top two for bottom each arm each leg and then I folded this and I lined this up and again, because that ribbon is on the top, it just, it works fine. And again, if you want to trace the sides, you can. I just went and cut it like this because there was just so many to cut that I didn't really want to deal with tracing every single one. And I just cut out all four at one time. Once you get the one cut out, again, if you want to go, it's a bone, make it a little rounder on the edges. Absolutely. And then, again, in the template, it's got the dot at the top and the bottom. That's where we punch our holes. I think we put it in the right one. <laughs> and you do want to try to get this fold out, you know, just rub it a little bit. So I just want to show you how to put it together. Um, so let's pretend you have all your pieces cut out. In there, you also were given, let's see if we can find them, some white cut pieces of chenille, which have disappeared. Oh my goodness, where did they go? Oh, I found them. So, they're about this size. Some might be too long. They are, Definitely none of them should be too short, so it depends how close you want. So when I put it together, I did start with the top and I went down from there. So what I did was just put it through that first hole. I 
twirled it around to make like a knot. You could tie a knot if you want, but just it needs to be bigger than the actual hole so that it doesn't fall out. And then the next piece was this piece right here. And this is, this would be like this part of your body goes up for the neck. So one here, and again, the template showed you where to put them, right in the middle, right in the middle. And get that. So we've already done the one chenille stick. And I went through the front part so that you couldn't see it. And then it just kind of was easier. If you can like maybe get down on the floor even, that might be better for you. Um, just so that you can lay it all out. I did it on my bed actually because I had a lot of room there. And you just want to twirl it around there, make a knot, whatever you want so that it's not too close. Now this is, there, see like that? And then we're gonna go out to the arm. So you need this bone. Twirl it. Bunch it up. You just want it so it doesn't fall through, that's all. And if you can lie it on the table or the floor, wherever you're working, so that you can lay it out, it really does help. So, so far, we got this part of your body. So one more arm piece. And then the hands, this was kind of fun. So you're gonna trace your hand on a plate and cut that out so that it looks like this. This one I did obviously uh, trace it with a marker. And so make sure the marker goes on the back side because you don't want to see it. And then when you get to the bottom, you're going to do the same thing with your feet. You're going to trace your feet on here and then um, cut that out. So let me show you this really well because I don't want to do, cut it all out. So when you put it all together, you've got the head. Here's the ribs. It goes down to your hip bones, two legs and arms, he's really big. He's he's almost as tall as me. He's probably about five and a half feet tall. So he's super tall. The picture that is on here, if you just follow that layout, it's you're good. It'll be good. So again, like I said, the, the most important is when you're cutting out, do all the cutting first. So you've got two of these, fold them in half. Um, you, you need eight. So yeah, just keep plugging away. This one I traced as well. And again, it doesn't fit really well and that was kind of why I drew it in there. You need to get in there. Don't worry about the edges because we have this ribbon in there which is kind of like how the bones are on the back. And um, then you'll be good to go and you'll have this super fun <laughs> skeleton to put up on your wall. So that's it guys, I think for October's crafts. Thank you so much. I sure do miss seeing you guys on campus, but crossing fingers, this goes away pretty soon and we'll all be back to school. Take care, I'll see you soon.